Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at another portable generator from All Powers. I use this to charge just about anything while I'm flying. Let's take a closer look. So in the box you're going to get your normal kettle lead and you're going to get the user manual and you're going to get the device. The device is not huge. It's 206 mil long by 165 mil high by 110 mil deep. Inside are lithium batteries, has a capacity of 78,000 Ma, which is 288 watt hours. On the front of the device, we have the on off button. Press and hold to turn the device on or off. This also controls the display off and on. Next to that is the AC button. When you turn this on, the fan will come on in the background. This enables the plug socket, and the plug socket is 300 watt output. This is more than enough to charge your drones or to use your FPV charger. Turn it off and the fan will go off again too. Next to that is the DC button. This turns on the USB ports and your cigarette lighter on the side. The USB ports are 18 watt each for the USB A and 100 watt for the USB C. This button is also used to turn on Bluetooth. Press and hold. Bluetooth will come on and you can pair it with the app. Press and hold again to turn it off. The display gives you all the information you need, such as how many hours you've got left, your level of charge, what's going in, what's going out, what's turned on and what's turned off. On the side we have the car charging port. This is 12 to 24 volts, 8.5 amps maximum. And the solar input, which is an XT60 connector, which is 12 to 60 volts, 8.5 amps. We also have the fan and some ventilation. On this side of the device, we have more ventilation and we have the AC charge port. This is the biggest improvement for me from the previous version. The previous version took four and a half to five hours to charge. This can now take 200 watts and can charge the device in one and a half hours. If you combine it with the XT60 for the solar panel or the 12 volt cigarette lighter, you can get 300 watts maximum and it will charge in just one hour. On the rear of the device, we now have an LED light which has two levels of illumination, low and high and SOS. On the top of the device, we have the wireless charger. This is 5 volts 1 amp and we also have a very sturdy handle. The recommended operating temperature is 0 to 40 degrees. Here I have my FPV charger and as you can see it powers it no problem at all. So just another example phone is plugged into the USB-C, the Radio Master Zorro is plugged into the USB-A, turn it on, now this is fast charging and the Zorro is also charging. The wireless charger is also turned on with the DC button and as you can see it's charging no problem.